Hey yo, what is going on with it? Once again, bros, women, bronies, and pegasusers. This is the one, the only, of course, Mr. Nintendo Sony Free 2011, aka Manny Wolverine. Of course, you guys are rest know, know the rest of this intro towards this channel. Definitely check out freedomnetwork.com and of course, Trouble Network Studios on that. If any people are interested in a business partnership program, best partnership I've ever had, all like this shit. Links in the description box down below and station outside. If any of you people are interested in a business partnership program, best partnership I've ever had, all like shit. Links in the description box down below. If any of you people are interested in a business partnership program, businessization, business marketing strategy, marketing strategy, marketing schemes, market marketing, market planning, marketing planning, all that good shit. And uh, yeah, so <laughs> today I am going to be reacting to two. Uh, new video game trailers, even though one of them is kind of old and then the other one just came out yesterday. I, unfortunately, I didn't get time to react to it because I only heard about it earlier today because um, I actually follow these people on Twitter as well. And it is, both the both of the uh, video game trailers are from GameSpot. A lot of people already know who GameSpot is, so I'm not going to talk about them because half of the journalists, they probably have a lot, they probably make a shit ton more money than I ever will. And most of them probably make, what, 20, 25 bucks and most of them are living in, in San Francisco. I think that's where their headquarters are supposed to be, like, around, which is in California, obviously. Um, other than that, I don't know why the fuck that happened. Okay. No, my mouse, for some reason, is always sliding off the pillows for some reason. First one I'm going to react to, I was going to do it in reverse. I was going to react to the ukulele um, trailer. I think it had something to do with, um, from Play Tectonic Games, the same people that was supposed to be that spiritual successor to Banjo Kazoo, which... Unfortunately, I never got to own an N64, and unfortunately, my cousin never owned the game, even though she had, like, what, 50, 60 games on that damn thing, because she was actually rich on, like, my ass. Well, her parents were rich, not her, but awesome stuff, awesome ass nostalgic times. Um, I know she had a lot of N64 games. I got to bl play a couple of them. I couldn't borrow any of the games because I didn't have an N64. I ended up having a PS1 and PS2 instead at that time when gaming was still, you know, it was getting into its mid-late 90s, you know, Polygon era, when the 8-16-bit era was pretty much gone. After, I think, 32 or 200-bit era was, was just barely dying off. That's when the whole Polygon 3D style of gaming was starting to come into play. Uh, shows you how old as fuck I'm getting, because I know I'm going to be fucking 28 next year. <laughs> oh, man, it's going to be sucking ass the second I hit fucking 30. Oh, my God, I'm not looking forward to it. But you know what? It's part of life. You're born in this world, and then you live as long as you can until you die in this world. Um, which hopefully, if I do end up dying, I hope it's through a natural age death progression, which is either going to be either age 70, 80, or 90. Hopefully I die at age 90 something. That would be cool as fuck. Because I want to live on this earth as much as I can. Because, <laughs> yeah, I'm not going to get into that topic, but uh, I know atheists will disagree with me, but... Yeah... I already know where I'm going to end up going once I'm dead, unfortunately. But I'm not going to talk about that because I know it's super depressing. That's not what people come here to see on my channel. Um, yeah, uh, besides all that, let's see. Um, GameSpot. The first video video on um, game trailer I'm going to be reacting to is Tekken 7, Kuma, the Pan Kuma and Panda reveal trailer. And the other one, like I said before, I'll say it again, is Ukulele Capital Casino. Okay, Capital Casino. Not casino, casino, casino trailer. I know it sounds really weird. It's like I'm trying to make fun of people that have like a speech impediment, but still, I swear to God, I'm not. That's how you literally say it. Capital Casino trailer, not casino, but casino. That's probably casino, but you know, I know a lot of little kids are going to be playing most of this, and maybe even grown adults that grew up with games like these, like myself, will definitely be playing this shit. Okay, so uh, links in the description box down below. Station outside if any people want to see this with me. Other than that, I actually have to make this trailer really quick because I actually have to go somewhere. This is actually the same time I'm doing that other reaction review segment that I just finished doing, which was a brony, uh, My Little Pony Fan Animation. If any people are bronies or practices out there, you might want to see it yourself. If not, I totally understand. And I, I know not everyone likes MLP Generation 4. And you know what? That's totally cool. I'm totally okay with that. But anyways... Yeah, Tekken 7, Kuma, and Panda Reveal Trip. I remember the Panda being in the first two Tekken games, but I don't remember the Kuma one. Damn. Ah, oh, it's been so many years. I think the last time I played the Tekken game was like the early, mid-2000s, so it's been either 11, maybe 14 years the last time I played the Tekken game. 3, 2, 1, let's get in. Let's get it. Let's get this shit on the road, and uh, here we go. Let's let it pop and jump and all that good shit. 
Okay, it didn't work. I gotta refresh. It's probably because I took too long and I had this video on pause for a while. I don't know. It just happens for some reason. All right, good. Thank God. No commercials. I hate it when fucking commercials play. Even though I do it on my channel, but I only do it sometimes. Van Dyne Namco Entertainment. Oh, yeah. Oh, there goes Jen and the other dude. I always forget the other dude's name. I know he's the bad guy, but still. Unreal Engine. Oh, let's see what's going to be, man. I know it's Panda and Kuma, but I want to see what their attacks are like. Kuma. Kuma. Oh, the other one, the Panda. Oh, that's why I remember Panda. I remember Panda way better than Kuma. I totally forgot about Kuma. Man. Oh, shit. The heck, he has a little, like, Iron Man suit? Not Iron Man suit, but Iron Man mask? Oh shit, that's awesome! Dang! Oh my god, the panda's so fucking adorable, man. If I get this game, I'm totally playing as a panda. Fuck yeah. That might be one of my mains in this game. Yeah, do it. Oh, I want to see their final moves. That's what I want to see. I almost said Smash Bros. Moves, but this is not Nintendo. This is Sony. I don't know if it's going to be for Microsoft or Xbox One, but I doubt it. Damn! Look at those swipes! Oh, look at the little victory dance! Oh, shit! Oh, that's sick, bro! That's fucking awesome! Oh, this is his final move! Oh! Did you see that? He threw him, like, on the... He, he threw him all up in the air, like, four times, and BOOM! Smashed his fucking spine out! Fuck yeah, dude! Oh! Oh, so he, his final move is, like, a giant halibut bass fish, and he just pimp slaps the shit out of him with a fish? Oh man, that's fucking wild. Oh, he's just grabbing a fish. <laughs> oh, that's wild. I like that, man. Oh, sick. Shout out to Bandai and Namco. And I'm not sure if Konami ever had anything to do with it. Because it has that style of Konami DDR type of music, but still. Oh, that's wild, man. Oh, that's fucking sick. I like that, man. Not bad, not bad. Always know how to make good fighting games. I'm glad Tekken is still a franchise that people still know about. You know, granted, it's not as popular as how um, Street Fighter and Mortal Kombat are, but I still love the shit out of Tekken. Obviously, Tekken will always be one of my first favorite out of the big three fighting games that are out there. And then Street Fighter is my second. And then my least favorite, I know it sounds crazy because I do love blood, gore, and violence and all that crazy fucked up shit that makes gaming like nowadays. And I know a lot of parents and teachers and all these fucking adults are going to say, Oh, gaming is violent. This is the reason why there's school shootings and malls and shootings and all these other assault rifles, these crazy people. because it's, it's the gamer people that make the United States, like, bad. That's why we have to ban guns and shit. Fuck those people, man. They could go fuck themselves, to be honest. I can't stand it with douchebag little cocksucker soccer mom fucks always like to, um... Well, always like to label all gamers as, oh, they're bad, violent, terrible people. When it's not really even the people's fault. That's either for one of two reasons. Either A, it's because the kid is a real fucked up psycho person. They believe if they shoot and kill people, that's that's their fucking problem. They're way too mentally unstable to be playing games. Now. And two, um, second one's kind of like a lot of conspiracy theory shit. But this is something I believe personally. That's a lot of government fucking um, pre-orchestrated shit that happens. That's normally usually fake most of the time. I mean, sometimes it's real, sometimes it's fake. It's usually the corrupt government, like, you know, the FBI, CID, NSA. Those are people that are normally behind those type of shootings. Most of the time, that's not even real. That's fake. That shit never really even happens IRL. I know some people are going to bother me and bullshit me and say that. They're going to argue with me and say, oh, that's a lie. What? But CNN, NBC, ABC, Fox News told me this. That, that, that person is a... Is a fucking, what's it called? It's a psychopath. They're homegrown terrorists. You know, fuck that shit. That's all a bunch of dumbass people that don't do their research, any of their studies, their development, any of their fucking, you know, they don't do their own research on Google or some other big giant website out there to like, like do their own little Sherlock Holmes um, studies and like undiscovered type of bullshit, you know, that's on the internet out there that unfortunately... That's what happens most of the time. I'm sorry I had to go on that little side rant, but it pisses me the fuck off when it comes to violent video games. You know, it's so stupid, man. This shit's been going on since I was a fucking 90s kid. It's still going on now, which is... It, it's really fucking retarded, honestly. It really fucking is. I mean, I'm a grown-ass man. I get it. Gaming? I don't give a fuck. I, this is the thing about gaming. With gaming, 
It's usually people from... It's not just little kids and teenagers anymore to play this shit. There's grown men like myself. We still love video games, you know? Like, um, whether it was E for Everyone, T for Teen, um, M for Mature. I, I played all three of them. He's an, even as a 90s kid, I still played a couple of them. And I, I came out just fine. And um, this is the thing. But people usually, especially the usually the grown adults, they're usually from their late teens, which is 18 and up, or people that are like in their 20s, early mid 30s. And I think there's a few people in their late 30s, and probably a handful, not a lot, but a handful of people are probably even in their early mid 40s. I I think they even like playing games. I mean, they don't play as a, a competitive type of thing or as a daily thing like I would. You know, gaming's a big ass part of my life, man. I've always loved playing games, even though when I was a 90s kid, you know. It's unfortunate for people that are like in their early mid 40s and up. A lot of them, they really don't give a fuck about games. And you know, I understand that because they were born and raised in a time when games didn't exist at all. And uh, I feel bad that they're always going to miss that type of medium out there, or media out there, media outlet out there that is one of the greatest mediums out there of all time, in my own personal opinion. I mean, I still like movies, I still like my anime, I still like my. Um, uh, a couple sports that I'm into, the main two I'm usually into is either baseball or MMA, UFC, or boxing. You know, that type of shit I'm into. Most other sports I really don't give a fuck about. Other than that, um, yeah, that's my little rant there. I'm going to just stop and cut the bullshit there because I still got one more video to react to. And then that that is Ukulele. Ukulele Capital Casino trailer. Not Casino, Casino. I don't know why it's called like that. That's weird. Three, two, one. Let's get it in. Let's go, and uh, hopefully it actually works. All right, it's working. Good. Cartoon mischief and violence. Play Tectonic Games. Shout out to these viewers, man. Thanks for making a spiritual successor to Banjo. Because even though I never got a chance to play that game, but um, it's still nostalgic to me nonetheless. Even though I never actually played it like ever. Well, actually, I played a demo of it when I was a '90s kid, but I never played the full game, unfortunately. You guys can read all that in the bottom. They're going way too fast. Oh, there's like a little golf course level. Oh, that's the first time I see one of the enemies in this game. Oh, speaking of which, bad news is they're not going to have this for the Wii U, which sucks. Which makes sense because the Wii U is pretty much dead at this point. They're going to have this for the Switch instead. I really hope they actually put this on the Switch. Oh. Oh, hell yeah, I like that track. Fuck yeah, that's awesome. That's fucking amazing. I love that shit. That's super fucking... That, that is the fucking jizz, ladies and gentlemen. I love it. Man. That sound is so cool. That soundtrack, though. Oh, yeah, they still got collectibles and puzzles, just like the original Banjo-Kazooie did. I think that little puzzle pieces you were supposed to collect. Buddy up. April 11th. Pre-order now to unlock your toy box demo. Oh. Oh, that's fucking wild, dude. Also, they already got DLC for this game. So it's coming out April 11th. Or I think it's, yeah, April 11th, 2017. So let's see. That's half of December, January, February, March. So that's like four months all together. So it's kind of far away, but at the same time, it's real close. So at least we have an official date for this ukulele game. I think the last time we even covered ukulele, I think it was like early January, February this year. I think late November, December of 2015. It's been a long ass time since I covered anything about that game. So glad it's not in the dark. I'm glad this game wasn't scrapped because I know it was um it was one of those crowdfunded games that ended up actually getting a lot of buzz and attention. Cause like the only two other crowded but funded games, like most of them are usually on Kickstarter, obviously, is um that I heard about ever that ended up blowing up like all over the fucking internet and a lot of people fell in love with it was the the Shovel Knight series. And the Undertale series. That's a, and now Ukulele is a part of that amazing, wonderful list of games that blew up in a positive way. Unlike some games, like uh, even though I don't want to say the name, but uh, yeah, <laughs> uh, I forgot the name of it. Anyways, I totally forgot what it was. I know it was a spiritual successor of Mega Man. Fuck, I forgot what it was. Ah, I can't believe I forgot the name of that game, man. And like everyone was talking about it, and a lot of people got pissed the fuck off about it because that game ended up being a giant piece of shit, man. Unfortunately, especially for people that were Mega Man fans. Me myself, I was never really big as a Mega Man fan. The only type of Mega Man type of thing I was ever into was um, 
Oh, the Mega Man Net Zero. That's the only Mega Man thing I was ever into, and I think that was the NT Warrior series that used to be on Four Kids and Kid WB. Oh, now I remember what it was. <laughs> I'm not. And I'm not gonna tell you what I said there. You already know what Mega Man's first successor what it was, and it was that Mighty Number no. Nine series, and that became a really big disaster. I mean, it got big, but it ended up being big and popular and famous all over the internet for the wrong reasons. So, uh, yeah, sadly it didn't get that positive reception that Undertale and Shovel Knight did. But anyways, yeah, Ukulele. I I I'm super hyped as fuck for that game. I really want to fucking get that game. If I get enough money to buy the Switch, I'm totally getting that fucker. I am totally getting that fucking damn game because it's one of those old school platformers that you really don't get to see too much anymore nowadays. I mean, the only ones that millennials are usually familiar with as far as platformers go is, is either... Either Minecraft or Skylanders. And obviously, to be honest, those are games I never really got big into. I mean, because, you know, obviously, you know, I'm a grown-ass adult. If I would have been, like, a, maybe a kid now or a teenager now, it probably would have been my favorite game. But since, you know, I'm a grown-ass man, I usually don't like games like that very much. A lot of them are really cringy and just stupid. I mean, I'm not saying Minecraft is stupid. It's just, it's, it's just one of those games that, like, everybody knows and your mom knows about. Those are the type of games I really don't have a lot of remorse or any, like, sympathy for. It's just, you know, they're fucking horseshit now. I'm sorry. I know Minecraft and Skylander still has a really big crowdfunding. I mean, not crowdfunding, but has a really big, like, um, a giant gamer community for Minecraft and um, Skylanders. But for me personally, I never really gave a fuck about those games. I'm sorry if any of you people... Mostly a lot of you kids and teenagers are watching this video. You're going to say, oh, you're a hater. You're just an old man that doesn't know what gaming is. Like, <laughs> I knew what gaming was before most of you little fucking brats were born. Okay? You're talking to an old school veteran OG gamer right here, man. Even though, granted, I wasn't born around the time that uh, the Atari 6500 or... Uh, what's it called? That one, the ColecoVision, and even um, that old school Game & Watch game that came out back in the late 70s, early 80s. Granted, I know I wasn't around to see that shit, but I still had a lot of respect and loyalty to old school gamers that were around at that time that knew what gaming was. Those that are super OGs. Me, I'm just a regular original gamer. OG. <laughs> Not original gangster, because I've never been in a gang or any of that shit, because, you know, I would have been dead by now. <laughs> But yeah, um, for a lot of you millennials out there, I mean, I know there's some of you that do respect the older, you know, gamers that, you know, that are still around to this very day, which is awesome. I have nothing but love and support and respect for you younger people, but for um, the ones that want to be bratty little pieces of shit fuckers, just get the fuck off. Fuck off, okay, please? Just go back to your little mommy and daddy's place because you're still living there. A lot of you are fucking stupid ass loser fucks anyway, so... You can all go fuck off for all the trolls. Those are the troll little bastards I'm talking to. For anyone else that's a really, you know, a true, dedicated person that, that's a, a, a main subscriber of mine or just a fan of mine, thank you very much for um, watching my video. For anyone else that ends up being a troll piece of shit, just go fuck off. Anyways, overall thoughts, views, and opinions on this, um, it's really, really amazing. I know I went off course. I, usually I go off topic a lot of my videos, but that's just how I am. It's kind of how I am in real life, too. The only thing in real life is I don't really scream or curse and, like, go all crazy balls to the wall like I kind of do in my videos sometimes. Not all the time. But, yeah, you know, it's just, ah, oh, man, I wish there were more games like these. Because, like, nowadays the only two big giant types of video gaming genres nowadays is just, unless it's first-person shooter or MMORPG, then it ends up getting big. And just games like that, they never really appealed to me very much. Even as a 90s kid, the only two, I think, big FPS games were at that time was Doom and then, like, another PC game, which I never really even knew about until, like, years later. I think 2009, 2010, I think it was called, um, I was going to say Stargate, but it's another fucking one. Uh, I think it was Smite and then that other one. Smite, I'm trying to think of the other gaming title, which I totally forgot the name of it. Fuck. I was either going to say Smite or League of Legends. I know World of Warcraft was around for a long ass time. Ah, oh, there's another one. There's another dude that I knew. He did a couple Let's Plays of him. Ah, oh, man. I totally forgot what the fucking name was. 
It, it was a really big popular one in the 90s, but the thing is, since I didn't grow up with any type of PC computer games, plus I didn't have a PC or computer because my family, the ones I was living with back in the days when I was a 90s kid, we, we couldn't afford to buy a computer or the internet, so it sucked, but you know, that's how it was. The only time I was ever able to use a computer was either two ways, either through a library card or to go into the library to use a library card, that or one of my rich uncles or aunts that had one because... <laughs> They had like three or four of those things. And once every month or three to six months, I would go over to my cousins to use a PC. And at that time, the internet was still a young little baby. Now it's just a big, giant, grown adult now. <laughs> so the internet's a billion times bigger now than it was way back when. And this was only in the 90s. This was only, what, less than 20 fucking years ago. I think 17, 18 years ago. Other than that, um, that's pretty much all I had to say. Um, ukulele is turning out to just... The more trailers I see for this this um, video game, the more I fucking want it now. And that's the thing. For all you big-time billionaire motherfuckers out there, like Activision, Havoc Studios, Konami, um, a lot of you people that do, like, games for those FPS and MMORPGs, like, you need to take a break off that shit, man. Seriously. I've been seeing nothing but FPS and MMOs all over this. I'm not saying every single one is shit. It's just I never really big been big into genres like those. That's why I never really got big enough Halo or Fallout or fucking um, even MMOs like Skyrim. That that those type of games. I know they're good games. It's just I never really cared about them that much. I'm sorry. And if that offends anyone, if any people are my subscribers, you get offended by me saying that. And hey, unfucking subscribe. I'm sorry. It's just that's how I feel when it comes to certain video games. Uh, that are really, really big and they just get... It's the same old fucking shit over and over and over and over. You just kill, do another team, kill, do another team. That's that's nothing like no creativity there. It's a clone of a clone of a clone of a clone of a game. And I'm tired of that fucking bullshit the gaming industry nowadays. That's, only, that's the only options that we have. And then the only games that ever like get like platformers or type of games is just indie games, you know? I want to see more than just indie games have platformers, you know? There's got to be, like, some mainstream games out there that, like, people my age, if any people are develop gaming developers out there, you people actually work for places like Activision or um, Konami, um, Activision, Konami, Bandai Namco, um, what other gaming industries are there? Ubisoft, uh, what else? Ubisoft, um, Navid, um, other video gaming um, places, companies like that, you know, like, if you're working for these big giant industry retailers, even esports or EA, EA games and all that shit, like if you're working, if you're a gaming developer, if you're watching this video right now, let your higher ups that are the CEOs, let them know that we should bring gaming platform stuff back again. You know, because I know some of you guys that are video game developers, you probably wish that they can have a lot more of those as choices instead of just the same old FPS and MMORPGs all the time. Like, let them know. Seriously, let them the fuck know because it's coming to a point where, like, fuck, it, it's a bitch. It's a fucking pain in the ass just to see everything on the... Whenever they do E3, it's the same old fucking shit all the time, you know? It's like... And they don't really cater to old school gamers anymore. Like, let the millennials actually see something. Let them have more of a choice than just first-person shooters or MMORPG games. There's so many other genres out there that get outshined by the same old fucking crap, you know? That's what I want to see. I mean, I'm not saying, like I said before, I'm not trying to hate on FPS and, like, MMOs. It's just, I want to see something that's completely different, that breaks the barrier. It's just not another clone game. It's like, uh, this is a cool game, but it's still the same fucking concept. I want something different. I want something new, fresh, more badass than any other of those FPS MMO games, you know? It's like, come on. They have millions and millions of dollars. They can't sit sit there and tell people that this is the only options that you have. There's so many other genres of options that they're out there. There's racing games. There's puzzle and maze games. There's fucking... There's those JRPG games, which are even better than MMOs. There's fucking what? Um, there's simulator games. There's like so many other genres of games that are out there. The list goes on and on. You know? Like, I mean, I wish the video game industry would do a little, little bit something better than that, you know? And uh, I know this video is probably going to be like 30 or 40 minutes. So if any people stood stood with me throughout, throughout that whole rant after I did my reaction review segments, thank you very much. I appreciate you guys for sitting sitting here sticking 
by to seeing what I have to say about the gaming industry now compared to how it was almost 17, 18 years ago. And then, yeah, that's it. Links in the description box down below. Attention on side. If any people are interested in seeing both of these videos on their own time, and I'm done here. Oh, two other things. I heard a lot more extra news and information about the Nintendo Land theme park. I'm going to see if I could try to cover that type of news. And then uh, Xbox Scorpio, even though I'm not a big Microsoft fan, I still like to cover that type of news anyways because, you know, it's still gaming. Even though I'm not the biggest Xbox fanboy out there, and I never was big in Xbox except for the original one. Never bought a 360, never bought an Xbox One or Xbox One S. Uh, it's just some of the games on there I really don't care too much for. That's why I was never really a, a big Xbox fan. If any people are Xbox fans and you're watching my channel or even if you're subscribed, and thank you very much. Even if you're not a big Sony or Nintendo fan, hey, regardless, we still love games, even if we have differences, you know? Sometimes we got to put our differences aside and not just, you know, just be a fanboy cocksucker to all these billion-dollar industry games. You know, I'm just saying. Just saying. Just putting it out there. And that's it. Peace out once again, bros, women, bronies, and pegs, sisters. I will see you when I see you guys a good day or good night, wherever you are at around the world. Don't drink smoke at the same time. Don't say anything reckless. Keep it calm, keep it cool, keep it chill, keep it collective out there. And until then, next time, guys, peace out, ladies and goodbye. Stay tuned, more videos coming soon. Brand new videos on the channel almost every single day. Stay in the grind, stay easy, stay safe, stay healthy. Be easy, be you, do it yourself. Peace out, more sauerkraut. I'm gone, I'm getting a lot of here. Stay tuned, more future content channel. Stay tuned, more updates. Stay safe, everyone. And until then, next time, guys, stay tuned, more future. Stay safe, everyone. And stay tuned, more future um, content and commentary and vlogs on the channel, such as Nintendo, Sony, Microsoft, PC gaming news. And of course, as always, my anime and otaku and uh, video gaming news on that side of the room, article session reviews, and then of course on this side of the room, my overhyped reaction review segments or anything MLP and Pokemon related, and as always, um, my Marvel DC movie, action movie related trailers on this side of the room, and of course my um, video game trailers, and as always, uh, excuse me, my anime and otaku reaction reviews on this side of the room as well, as, long, as well as my video responses and rants. Peace out, deuces, bye, and uh, yeah. I gotta fill up my more of my water because my breath is just, my voice is fucking killing me. So, last video of the day. I will see you guys another time. Happy early 2017 if you're watching it in the next year. And uh, happy early Merry Christmas, Happy New Year, Happy Hanukkah, Kwanzaa, whatever the hell you celebrate. And if you don't celebrate anything, just have a good ass day in general. Peace out, deuces, goodbye. Sorry I had to be a little bit preachy as a gamer, as an old school gamer. It's just, something's gotta change, man. Seriously. I mean, we're getting even into a brand new era, which is VR. Virtual reality. Shit, I would have loved as a 90s kid out. But yeah, you know, um, better late than never. You know, I'm almost 30 fucking years old. I will always, in the words of the late and great Satoru Iwata, that, God bless that beautiful man. That guy was awesome. No homo, but God bless him, man. He, oh, I remember, I forgot how you quoted it. I know in my, uh, forgot what it was. He said something like, um, I know I am a very hardcore progressive, um, I know I am the CEO and president of Nintendo, but in my heart, I will always be a gamer. Shout out to that man. Everyone needs to take example and see what that wonderful dude did. Seriously, even the CEOs for Sony and Microsoft put their differences aside. They even gave respect to Mr. Iwata. That shows you that us fanboys that are, regardless if we're a Sony, Microsoft, or Nintendo fanboy or fangirl. I don't want to be a sexist and leave them out too. Because I know there's girls out there who like playing games too. I'm just a super hot slutty one, you know. Like, he led a way of example. The way to innovate. To make the innovation of games more fun. More, more you know, wonderful. More exciting, you know. I know some people do his competitive shit. And I don't have no problem with that. But that's what games were made in the first place for us. To have a good ass fun time. Now it's just about competitiveness and shit, you know. That's another thing we need to teach these millennials. And any of you people are in your mid late 20s or even early 30s, you have a little brother or sister or a younger person you know that's into gaming now, show them how gaming was back in the day. That, let them expand their horizon. See how game was being a gamer back as a mid late 80s, even a 90s kid like I was. You know, show them how it was. Show them that it was all about fun and happiness and, you know, wonderfulness, you know? I and mean, you got frustrated a few times, but not like, like how they are nowadays, you know? And just show them the right way. That's what it is. If I had a kid right now, I will totally get him and her in a game. I get, guarantee your ass I will. Peace, deuces, and goodbye. Later, and I'll see you guys in the next vlog. Lakes.